Welcome. If you are watching this, I will assume you have watched the 2008 CBS sitcom Gary Unmarried. On this video, we will give a conclusive ending to that story which wasn't concluded after the cancellation of the series. Let's start where the TV series stopped. Sasha asks Gary if he is getting a divorce. He told her he wasn't sure. She says she needs to get away from him and walks out. Gary turns to Allison who asks him what he's doing. He told her he don't know, but he doesn't think last night was a fluke. She told him she needs some space and walks out. Gary remembers Charlene and Curtis and told the marriage efficient to wait and tells the Gus the wedding will resume shortly. He walks into the house to find Curtis knocking on the door of the room. Charlene is in begging her to come out. Gary tried to help, but she told them both to go away. Gary climbed into the window of the room Charlene was in. She screamed at him, but he told her she is mad at him, not at Curtis, and convinced her to marry Curtis and not ruin her wedding for his sake. She opens the door and gets out, telling him not to come to her wedding. Curtis comes in and thanks Gary. Gary gives him the rings and left. Gary drives to the radio station looking for Sasha. He couldn't find her there. He drives to her house. She wasn't there either. He try calling her several times, but only gut voicemail losing hope he go to Allison's house. He knocks the door and she lets him in. They stand staring at each other in awkward silence. She asks calmly, So we're still married. He told her he is sorry for not telling her she'd yell at him what he was thinking and what he wanted to do now. He apologized again for hiring an incompetent lawyer, told her she was right, he was trying to scam her, but what he felt the night before is real, and she couldn't refute it. She asked him what they're going to do. Now he told her he don't know, but he want to try to fix things again. Start anew. They stare at each other longingly. Allison closed the gap between them and leaned in to kiss him. He stopped her and told her he wanted to do this right and start to leave. She asked him where he is going, and he told her he has to break up with his girlfriend properly first, and they need to start this on the right track, and he left. Gary enters his house, exhausted from searching for Sasha, and he falls asleep. In the morning, he goes to the kitchen looking for some coffee to find Mitch sitting there and ask him where he disappears to at the wedding. Mitch starts apologizing randomly and asks for Gary's forgiveness. Gary asks him what is going on. Mitch then recalled the previous day. After Rachel take him out of the wedding, she take him to her hotel room so that he could sleep it off, but her ex-boyfriend came asking for her forgiveness. She left Mitch in the hotel room alone and leaves with her ex. Desolated Mitch go to the hotel's bar to draw on his sorrow, where he found Sasha drinking alone. They start drinking together and slept with each other in the hotel room. Surprised and elated, Gary tells his brother he forgave him and asks him where Sasha is at the present. Mitch told him he left her at the hotel room and request why Gary is not mad. Gary told him it is because he's in love and leave. Gary knocks on the hotel room's door and waits for Sasha to open it. A hangovered Sasha with messy hair opened the door. They exchange half-hearted greeting and she let him in. And inside Gary apologies for not telling her he was still married. She apologies for sleeping with his brother and she only did it to hurt him. He assured her he wasn't mad at her. She asked what their next step will be. He told her for his children's sake he has to try and put his marriage back together and try to be a better father and husband. He asked if she's okay with that. She told him she really hate him, but she also understand where he's coming from. They hug and Gary left, but not before Sasha told him his brother was a better lover than him. Gary pick up roses before going to Allison's house, where Louise opened the door. She asked what's going on. Gary couldn't explain the situation because he wasn't sure what to say to the kids and when to say it. She asked why he got her mother flowers. He lied and say he was going to a funeral and ask why so much questions he thought she was the smart one. Tom walked down the stairs and rescued him. Gary asked the kids where their mother were. Tom say she'd gone out to her friend's house. Gary joke, what a friend, and put things together, he told Louise. She's in charge and left. Back at his house, he found Allison and Mitch talking. He excused Mitch. When they're alone, they start making out. Allison interrupts their kissing, ask what their next step will be. He told her they would start slow and try to build step by step and not put themselves under a pressure of marriage. She asks what about Sasha. He told her that is over, but he don't know what to tell their kids. Allison told him they need to keep this a secret from the children until they figure it out. A few weeks later, things are going well between Allison and Gary, but their sneaking around made their kids suspicious. Louise tells her suspicion to Tom and they devise a plan to catch them. One night, as Allison put them to bed and say goodbye and leave, they sneak out and follow her to Gary's house, where they see their parents kissing hello through the window. They open the door and told their parents they had a suspicion and ask what they're doing now. 
Allison tries to explain to them calmly that she has been seeing their father and ask them how they feel about that. Tom says they are happy with that which lift a huge burden off the parent's shoulder. All four share a group hug. Gary break the hag and told them he was waiting for these moments and be sure the kids are okay. It before asking the question and he proposed to Allison who accepted his proposal and they all celebrate. This was a conclusion to the series Gary Unmarried. I hope it gives you a closure. Make sure to subscribe. Our next video will be on the 2013 ABC series Devious Maids. I will see you then.